just tell me, just go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Psalms 150. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the formation of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Yeah. Praise him with the timbre and dance. Yeah. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Yeah. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the, the high sounding cymbals. Mm -hmm. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Amen. 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 Psalm 150. May the Lord have a blessing on the hearers and doers of his holy word. Amen. Amen. We bow our heads in prayer. <coughs> Father God, we come before you thanking you for giving us another day, Father Thank God. You, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For just raising up this morning so we can see a new vision of your greatness, Father yeah. God. We thank you for everyone that's here and everyone yeah. that's online yeah. listening, God. Father God. Father God, we want to lift up all the ones who have illness in themselves and in their family, Father yeah. God. Yeah. We want you to show your healing power, Father Yes. You said that you said the blood of Jesus that you would do the healing, mm -hmm. Father God. We want, to, we want you to look over our children as they go to school, Father God. Keep their mind on you and on yes. the lessons that they have to learn, Father God, to come out of this world, Father God. We want them to understand they need an education because yes. it's not easy out here if you don't have it, Father God. Yes. We want you to look over. All the ones that's up in Chicago, Father God, is going through this, what's there. We know it's not the worst city, but we get the attention because we are in the viewing area, Father God. Yeah, yeah. But we just want you to show that you are the one that can make changes, Father God. Oh, yes, God. We know right now the politicians are out there. They're spreading false things about everything, Father God. Yeah. But we want to keep our minds focused on you yes, and what's God. best for this world, Father yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. We just appreciate everything that you do. Yes, Father God, I'm yes, asking you to look over the ones that went to Massachusetts this morning on the bus, Father God. Yes, God. There, with them. there with, no, with no effects of anything and deliver them back here as they left, Father yes, God. We yes, want to thank you for the shepherd of this house. God, he's going to give us a word and that we may just install what he has to say for us, Father. Yes, God. I say this in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Praise God. Amen. I'm just here um, to introduce our, um, our, um, <laughs> I'm not very used to that. I know it's a testimony. So now meditation, testimony, testimony. Um, y'all know, know Tracy, so I'm not going to stand here. But she's kind of with her testimony. So all this month, ladies, we are building one another up yeah. with testimony. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're supposed to gather together and be built up by one another, encouraged and all of that good stuff. So Tracy is going to come and give us her testimony. So yes, please yes. receive her. Um, as she blesses us. Amen. Don't forget Saturday, um, this Saturday, the 15th, mm -hmm. we'll be doing Street Corner Prayer at 12 o'clock. If you have your SBC t-shirt, wear one. If not, don't worry about it. But meet us at, at the corner of, um, um, what is it, McDonough and Joliet. Yeah, yeah, McDonough and Joliet okay. at 12 for Street Corner Prayer. We will be praying for anybody that uh -huh. desires it. Okay. Um, and then tomorrow, for those of you that are going to the Lighthouse Mall with us, Michigan City, Indiana, please let me know if you're going. Right now, nobody has said anything. So if ain't nobody going, that's cool, except Sharon. So if you're going, let me know. Let me know. All right? Okay. Thank you. Tracy, come on. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I wrote it down. 
Reverend Sister Tyler. I can't thank you enough for your prayers. Reverend Williamson, Reverend Harris, Second Baptist Church, the women of worship, everyone on 6 o'clock prayer line and 7 o'clock Bible study, Maldine, the way, my family, my husband, my children, my sisters, my mom. Thank you all for calling my name out in prayer. Mm -hmm. Anybody who sent a text or a card, a special thanks to Sister Mary. I'll start off with my favorite scripture, Psalms 118.24. This is a day that the Lord has made. Yeah. Let us rejoice and be glad. Yeah. 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 This is my testimony. Pray and push. I was diagnosed with MS, multiple sclerosis, April 9, 2009. MS affects the brain and spinal cord. It eats away at the protective covering of the nerves. After living with it for 13 years, I thought I had seen it all. I would have a couple flare-ups every year, some worse than others. My first symptom of MS was I was sitting at work uh, at my desk and I lost my vision in my right eye. I'm still thanking God today for my vision. Amen. Yeah. God is so good. Fast forward to December 9, 2021. Mm. I went to, to the ER and I was admitted. I had tingling from the waist up and total numbness from the waist down. My core was so weak. I couldn't pick my I couldn't pick my feet up off the ground. This was new. I had never felt like this before. My doctor said I was in bad shape, and he didn't want me to end up in a wheelchair. I started praying, but at the same time, I was saying, "Why, why, why?" Yeah. They immediately started me on a new infusion treatment because what always worked in the past, steroids didn't work this time. I started praying again. And again, I said, why, why, why? Mm -hmm. I had several new lesions on my brain and spinal cord. After five days of the infusion, I felt like I was getting worse, not better. Mm -hmm. I needed assistance with everything. I couldn't do anything myself. I couldn't even sit up in bed. Mm -hmm. I was also told I had to stay five to seven more days for acute therapy. Before I was transferred to therapy, the social worker came in. And she told me she was ordering me a wheel, I'm sorry, a wheelchair and a walk for when I go home. And that's when I finally realized I wasn't going to physically walk out of there. I started praying again, but this time I didn't say why, why, why. I said, Jesus, 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 I need you now. Please cut the walk again. James 1, 2, and 3 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters. Whenever you All face right. trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Yeah. Yeah. So every morning, I would listen to my Pandora and praise the Lord in advance for my healing. I'm glad the hospital had thick walls because I was praising pretty loud. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped asking why, you. and I really started trusting him. Mm. He gave me peace. You know that peace that surpasses all understanding. Yes. Yes. When the Lord says peace, let there be peace. Let there be peace. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sister Deb, for that song. Mm. I was I was discharged after 12 days. I was shouting. I was so happy to go home. Mm. So grateful. Although I was going home in a wheelchair, I was still grateful. Mm. I didn't know how long I would be in a wheelchair, but I was going to continue to pray and push. Yeah. When I got home, it really hit me. I can't yeah. walk. I can't lift my feet up off the ground. Mm. Can't turn over in bed. Mm. I need to help with every day routines that I used to take for granted. Mm -hmm. So I stopped counting the things I couldn't do and started praising the Lord for the things yeah, I couldn't yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. My husband, my soulmate, my best friend, was right by my side. He had to do everything for me. Around the house, he would kick the cooking, the cleaning, the laundry. He didn't let me get depressed. He always made me laugh. My first day home, my kids and grandkids came over with Popeye's chicken. I was so glad. You know, Popeye's chicken is good when it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Trey. Yeah. After being in the hospital 12 days, it was really good. I was a little nervous about how my children and grandchildren would react to me being in a wheelchair. But they just saw me as the same mama and granny, and that made me so happy. I was the same person to them. My kids told me they had been praying for me. What a blessing when your kids pray for you. Yeah. They've been talking about the kids and You always pray for the children, not the children praying for you. Yeah. Thank you. They called me the MS warrior. All right. Mm. Fast forward. One day at 
therapy after two months in a wheelchair, my therapist asked me, what did I want to do today? I told her, I said, can I try the treadmill without the harness? She looked at me like I was crazy. I wasn't crazy, but I had crazy faith. Oh, Go ahead. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for mm. and the evidence of things not seen. Mm. That day is almost unexplainable. <laughs> she helped me stand up on the treadmill, and she put it on the lowest setting. And my legs started to move. Mm. I felt like somebody was holding me up. Because from that day, from, because before that day, <clears throat> I couldn't stand or move my feet. As the treadmill started moving, yeah. I started moving my legs. Mm. I can't explain it. The joy and gratitude I felt. Mm. First Thessalonians 5.18. Give thanks in all circumstances. Yeah. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. For yeah. you. I amazed the therapist. I know it was nobody but God, but Jesus holding yeah. me up yeah. and giving me the strength. Yeah. I couldn't wait to tell my family. Yeah. They rejoiced with me. Never, never underestimate the power of prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Fast forward. I was now using a walker, grateful to be able to cook some eggs, <laughs> sweep the floor, open the blinds, put <coughs> lotion on my legs. Mm. But the best, the best thing of all, I was able to get down on the floor with my grandkids and read books. The little things yeah. that we take for granted, including me. Yeah. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Mm -hmm. Leave not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Yeah. One thing I learned was how to pray for myself. Mm -hmm. In the past, whenever I needed prayer, I would just call a day, and it was done. Yeah. <laughs> I was living on daddy's prayers. Yes. Mm. But the Lord called him home December 3rd, 2018. Mm -hmm. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Stand yes. in the need yes. of prayer. Yes. Yes. Sometimes you gotta pray for yourself. You yes. gotta pay yes. hands on yourself. Yes. 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 Testimony. The first four letters is test. So I leave you with this. I think of a trial as a pop quiz. Mm. Just like when you were in school, you had no warning. It was it blindsided you. You didn't see it coming. You had no time to prepare. So what did you do? You start recalling information that you learned from past. From past. Yeah. 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 What you read, what you discussed. Sometimes there was even demonstrations. Mm -hmm. So I saw my terrible flare-up as a trial, testimony, pop quiz mm -hmm. to test my faith. All right. So what did I do? I start, I start recalling what I read in the Bible. Yes. Yes. I start recalling what he's done for me in the past. Yes. 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 I start recalling what we studied in Bible study. Yes. 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 What I heard when I went to church. Yes. The demonstration yes. that I recalled was seeing my daddy pray every day mm. about everything. Yes. 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 Our kids need to see us pray. Yes, 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 yes. Basically, I saw, basically, I saw the power of prayer. But remember, you can't recall something you've never learned, mm. right something you never yes. studied. Yes. So please, let's get back to going to church, join a Bible study and prayer for you. Yeah. Psalms yeah. 119, yeah. 11. Yeah. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Uh, yes, sir. So instead of getting mad or asking why when trials come, just ask God to give you the strength to bear it. Yes. He can do it for me. He can do it for you. Yes. As I stand here before you, the wheelchair, the shower chair, the walker is in the garage. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes. I'm back walking with my game, with my cane. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Yes. He would never leave you nor forsake you. Yes. 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 Romans 12, 12. Oh, okay. Be joyful in hope. Yeah. Patient in affliction and faithful in prayer. Yeah. Thank you.
I'm blessed by it. I am. Amen. Yeah. Well, ladies, we remind that uh, next week, that's the third Sunday. Yes. So we'll be wearing pink. Yes, right. Pink for breast cancer. So, you know, just put on a little something pink so we can uh, remember, <laughs> recognize, and honor those who have survived and gone on from breast cancer. Yes. Yeah. Amen. 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 All right there, Brother Hugh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mother. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It touches yeah. my heart. Yeah. 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 And you see God just flinches his muscles. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. 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 Yes. Just yes. show us and the world mm. that he's got. Can't nobody flex like him. Hey. Nobody. Oh, wow. yeah. Discussing the birth of Moses. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And, um, how God just—he's just a master orchestrator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's only yeah. two ways in this world that things happen, and that's God makes it happen, or God allows it to happen. That's yeah. right. That's right. So we were talking last week, and um, when Moses was found. You know, Pharaoh's daughter was in on their baby. Moses' own sister, she came out the weeds and she addressed Pharaoh's daughter. She said, Well, would you like me to go to one of the Hebrew women to, uh, to nurse the child? Yeah. Because uh, Pharaoh's daughter hadn't been pregnant, she ain't had no milk. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> She said, yeah. yeah. So, y'all know who Moses' sister went and got. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. She went and got their mom. Thank the Lord. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. See, this guy flexing again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. go on, go on, go on. Now, Moses' uh, mama would have nursed him for free. Because <laughs> that's her baby. Hello. <laughs> but God, Fix. being Fix. God, uh, uh, yeah. he fixed that thing up to where she got to nurse her baby. And she got paid yeah. from the world treasury right. for doing it. Yeah. <laughs> That's God. Yeah. Bless you. Sure. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Mm. This week's lesson, mm -hmm. the Song of Moses. Mm -hmm. Moses is coming down to the end of the road. Yeah. Yeah. Israel's out there in the plains of Moab, Mount Nebo, where Moses passed on at the age of 120. The song is actually a three-part song. It, it, it pays tribute mm -hmm. to God. Yeah. yeah. The first part of the song talks about God's faithfulness. Mm -hmm. He's the anchor, rock, yeah. and ruler of his people. That's yeah. right. And they were reminded to always remember the covenant that God had made with his people. Mm -hmm. The second part of the song talks about God's goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Israel was referred to as the apple yes. of God's eye. Yeah. You know, something he really, really loved. You know, he would protect them. And um, it may use the analogy of a mother eagle. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> the young eagles, you know, they, they flap their little wings and, you know, they, they learn how to fly. Yeah. But right up under, mama got her wings out, just yes, like sir. that. Right? Yes, sir. And, and she got them covered. Mm -hmm. they, they, if they fall, they're going to fall on her wing. Amen. And eventually, they get strong enough to fly, you know, on their own. Yeah. And that's the same way the Lord girds us up. Mm -hmm. yes. You yeah. know, you might fall. You ain't going to fall on the ground, you know. Yeah. He's going to catch you. Yeah. Oh, and he'll you. gird you up. Yeah. And just till you can, you know, walk on your own two mm -hmm. feet. But always walking in him and with him. Yeah. Right. yeah. More of God's goodness. It was just an abundance. It was the richest soil that grew the best crops. They had the best livestock for the best meat, milk, and butter. All provided by God. Because that's how good he is. Yeah. And the final um, part of the song is, is kind of like a, a warning. It's the people's apostasy. 
The people had gotten careless. Yeah. They ignored God, mm -hmm. and then they worshiped false gods. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, that's the common thing going through the entire Old Testament. Mm -hmm. They obeyed God, yeah. they prospered. They disobeyed God, mm -hmm. God allowed the enemy to come in and overtake them, mm -hmm. enslave them, and um, then they came back to their senses. Yeah. And God would, you know, because he's a loving God, mm -hmm. come on back mm -hmm. and do what I say to him. Yeah. And up and down, up and down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The point of this lesson, yeah. mm -hmm. God's salvation will transform and sustain us if only people remember his steadfast commitment to us. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's not going to change. <laughs> promise made, promise kept. Yeah. And yeah. Our salvation is a gift from God mm -hmm. as he draws us into his kingdom. Yeah. We didn't earn that citizenship. Mm -hmm. It was given to us free. Yeah. So let's just be thankful for our gift and then just remember who God is and what he does for us and what we're going through. Don't get too discouraged. That's when right. things is going good, mm. don't get too happy. You know, it's, it's, it's called moderation. Yeah. You know? God bless you. Come on, choir. Choir sing that that priest word. Church say.
She answered, said, I am Ruth thy handmaid. Spread therefore thy skirt over thy handmaid, for thou art a kinsman. He said, Blessed be thou of the Lord, my daughter, for thou hast showed me kindness in the latter end than at the beginning. Inasmuch as thou followest not young men, neither poor nor rich. And now, my daughter, fear not. I will do to thee all that you have required. For all the city mm. of my people do it know that thou art a virtuous woman. Yeah. Woman, yes. Yeah. So, pray with us as we examine the testimony of Esther, Abigail, and Ruth. Yeah, and we want to talk about the godly sway systems. Amen. The godly sway systems. Y'all know what sway means, right? Yeah, yeah to sway somebody. Yeah. That's influence. The godly sway systems. Yeah. <clears throat> there was a pastor at the church, and he wanted to do a test with all the men. So, in service, he took a chance and said, all the men in the house, I want you to stand up. Every man, stand up. Every man stand up. And all the men stood up. And then he said to all the men, he said, now all of you who are in pet, I want you to sit down. <laughs> All the men sat down, except for one. And then one brother who stood up got to pass his eye. And he said to, he said to the man standing up, he said, so you, you mean to tell the whole church that you're not in pet? He said, Pastor, I don't know about that, but all I know, my wife said, you better not sit down. <laughs> This morning, we have three sisters on the witness stand to illustrate how, ladies, you don't have to compete with men on, on quote, the level of men, because God gave you something that us men are still learning what it's all about. The emotional power that God put into a woman relative to a man is something we're still learning about. When I say we, I'm talking about us men. Right. Most ladies recognize that they have it. All right. It's quiet in here. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. When, when the Lord put Adam to sleep, took the rib out of his side and made it into a woman. He, he was like, oh my goodness, this is it. He had named all the animals when he saw his wife. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness, this is it. That was emotional. And many times us men find out a taste, a fraction of the emotional power that a woman has when something happens to mom. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that, that hits hard when, when anything goes on with mom. Yeah. Hello somebody, we get a taste of that emotional power that women have. On the witness stand this morning is three sisters, Esther, Abigail, and Ruth. Mm -hmm. Shining examples in scripture the emotional power God gave them that they used to sway the immediate man in their lives mm -hmm. for good, yeah. for righteousness, All right. All toward right. the Lord. Mm -hmm. Ladies, there's always a choice that you have mm. whether you're going to sway the man towards the right mm. or sway the man towards wrong. Sway him for self yeah. or sway him to the Lord. Mm. 
question this morning is, what direction is your sway? <laughs> There's two sisters we didn't invite to the witness stand because they, their sway was the other way. Mm. Eve swayed her man mm -hmm. away from the Lord. Yeah, yeah. That old y'all. Yeah, yeah. And Samson would say his woman Delilah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hello, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Text gonna tell us what all she did. <laughs> But she swayed him away from the law. Yeah, yeah. Lost his eyes. Hello, somebody. Mm. We, we want to invite them to the witness stand this morning. Hello, somebody. <laughs> but Esther is up first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, 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 and when you read the book of Esther, the, the word God never appears. And even though we may be in a time and society where folks are not speaking God's name, it doesn't mean that God is not working. Yes, yes. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. In, in, in the book of Esther and in the time uh, of the Persians and, and God's people, the Israelites, were there in that society, there was a background of hate. Do we know anything about a background of hate? Mm -hmm. Yes. Does anybody here have experienced hate before? Oh, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Esther was active in a time of hate. Yeah. yeah. And it was very much in the background. Mm -hmm. like, like rattlesnakes just waiting to rear its ugly head. Yeah. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So God started fixing things Ooh. early. Before the hate snake could bite. Yeah. All right. All right. That's All right. right. Y'all hear what All I'm right. saying? All right. We serve a good God, y'all. Yes, 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 I just want you to not be discouraged by yes. what you see in the background. Yeah. Because yes. our God is already working. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And he could be working through a person who might think they're so insignificant. Mm. Look at this. God created an offense between the king and the queen. That's right. Yeah. Hello. She had it going on. She was good looking. He said, come on out, baby. Show, show the rest of my fellows your good looks. She yeah. said, I ain't coming out there. <laughs> <laughs> right. And y'all, he fired her. That's right. He divorced his wife. Because word would have got around to everyone else. Hey, she can do that to the king. We can do that to you. He fired. But that was God's way. He made an opening for Esther. Y'all right. yeah. hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So the king, y'all, could do anything he wanted to do. So he got him a harem of 400 women. Mm. And Esther was one of 400. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, let that go by. Let that yeah. go by. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> And out of 400 ladies, mm. he chose Esther. Yeah. Yeah. She was a good looking sister, y'all. Yeah. And, and, and on top of her good looks, she was submissive. Yeah. He picked Esther. Yeah. Yeah. Esther had an uncle named Mordecai say, Don't tell that boy that you're a different nationality. That's right. yeah. So she did. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. And the way God fixed that thing. Somebody came into the king's cabinet named Haman, and he had a heat problem. Oh, yeah. Mm. Hello. Anybody ever met him, run into a, a, a person with a heat problem? Yeah. With a position mm. over you in your life, a position over you on your job. Y'all yeah. hear what I'm saying? Mm. Yes. This boy had a position next to the king mm. and sweet talk to the king. Mm. Into letting him use the king's stamp. Yeah. Yeah. Create a law. And when the king's stamp go on it, hello. Mm. It can't be reversed. Y'all right. yeah. hear what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And y'all, we were talking about politicians th this morning. Uh, uh, Deacon Lee, I mentioned them politicians, y'all. Hagan was a good politician. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hello, somebody. Got the king's stamp on the day. To kill and annihilate all Jews. That's right. 
because Mordecai wouldn't buy. Y'all yeah. yeah. hear what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And folk in charge who, who, who worship themselves, if you don't buy, yeah. that hate gonna come, gonna come try to run you over. Oh, hello, somebody. Right. Yeah. And then brothers and sisters, word got around, Mordecai told Esther, and uh, Esther needed to go see the king, but there was a, they had these funny laws, you can't approach the king without authorization or it's a death sentence. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that included his wife. That's right. But the day was coming when the hate day was gonna kill the Jews, so Mordecai told Esther, you don't go in and risk your life, you will be killed. Yeah. Hello. And salvation is going to come from another place. Yeah. So Esther said, all right, y'all go on the fast. And y'all fast for me. Yeah. And I'm going to go in and see the big honcho. <laughs> and if I perish, I perish. Hello, she put on her best outfit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, she didn't have a law on her side. Hello, somebody. Yeah. All she had is that God-given woman influence. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And went in on the court and approached the king. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Oh, yeah. The law says she's supposed to be killed. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. But when the king saw his baby, he knew what the law was. That boy stuck out his scepter, hello, and accepted her. And offered her half the king. Hello, y'all. We're not talking about muscles and might. We're talking about emotional, God-given influence. Yes, that she put on that king. Mm -hmm. He stuck that thing out there so fast. 